Hello you wonderful people of the internet, Mr Big Geek here. Welcome back to another iMovie tutorial and today we are going to be looking at how to do overlays and picture in picture. Now these are some of the easiest but most effective effects that you can actually do in iMovie. So I want to show you today how to do these. So here you can see here is an existing project that I've got. This is my recent review of the iPad Pro. So if I just give this a quick play so you can see what I'm talking about Recently here. I purchased the Apple Pencil to go with the uh, iPad Pro here. So what you can see is that the screen is switched over. Here is a different shot that I took here. And here is the shot that was recording of me as it zooms into the bottom. So we have this picture and picture effect but really easy to do so basically what you need to do is once you've got your main footage that you've got into the bottom of the bar here then what you need to do is basically you're importing another piece and it can either be an, a static picture or it can actually be another piece of video and then you want to overlay it onto the top bar here now iMovie itself only allows you to do this um, you can't overlay multiple pieces, you can only do the one. So um, let's just delete this. So all it could be, say if I want to take this footage here, and if I say I want the whole piece, so let's just drag the whole piece uh, down onto the, no, I don't want to do the whole piece, that's ridiculous, that's way too big. Let's take a portion of it. So we'll just want this tiny little portion. Um, here we go, let's have these 18 seconds. So I want to take this 18 seconds worth of footage and I want this to go, just drop it down here. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to drop the sound so that we don't want to hear this as I'm trying to talk. So what this has now done, this has now dropped it um, into your bar here. Now what happens as a general rule, as soon as you drop another piece of footage down, it will automatically just switch over to the new piece. So the new piece will override the existing piece. And what you can do is there are several effects here then uh, of how you can actually create either a split screen or overlay this onto your existing footage. So all you need to do is click on the new piece of what you've downloaded and then come to the section here at the top. And this is where you can add something as an overlay. So highlight this here. So you can either do this as, as a cutaway, which is as shown here. So it literally will have your existing footage and then as it plays, it will go into the new footage. You might want to do this as a split screen. So if you choose split screen here, then this will literally play the two side by side. And then you can do your positioning. So you can do it so the new footage goes on the left and you're existing on the right. Then you can do top or you can do bottom here. Okay. So that's quite a nice effect as well that if you want to have them have them played side by side, this is quite good. So I'm talking about the pencil and then I'll obviously in this respect kind of demo the pencil on the left there. Okay, so then one of the other things is your picture in picture, which is personally one of my favorites. So your picture in picture option here, so if you click on this, then what this will actually do is it will, in your window, it will show you here the new piece of footage that you put in. So you can drag it anywhere you want to on the screen and then you can resize it however, however big or however small you want it. So now in this instance, I want this to go on this side here and I'm gonna place it, place that there and then as it then starts to play, it will appear where I've placed it. Now there are several effects here. So if you click on this, and then what you can actually do for your picture in picture is you're able to choose the different effect that will happen. So this is currently set to dissolve. You can also choose uh, the zoom effect. So if you do the zoom effect, then it will literally pop up quickly like that. And oh, then you have your other effect, which is your swap. Now this is actually, if you want to switch your main one with your uh, additional one. So actually this is this is quite nice if you want to do this effect here, because then what this will do is switch over the two panels, your main one will then shrink, your, then your new one will take over. Let's just zip forward a bit, and once you're done, your main one will come back up again. So that is also a really nice touch um, of how to switch over your pictures here. But this works, as I said, just as well, uh, not only with existing video footage, but also with photos. So let's just drag in a photo. Uh, here we go, we've got a screenshot here from my desktop. You can just, let's just drag this one in. So, and again, a similar thing here. You can either do it that it plays and cuts away to the image, or you can then select your picture in picture options and you can either go for your split screen or uh, your actual picture in picture and therefore 
it will show wherever you place it on the screen as a static image. Now one of the things you could also do with regards to being a static image is if you select the crop option here, what you're then able to do is choose whether the image either fits to your screen as is intended. You can either do crop to fill, so you can either then uh, crop the image if you only want a certain, a certain part of the image to go, and just check it there. There we go, and it's kind of zoomed in a little bit on that one there. Or the other option you can do is you can do a Ken Burns. And your Ken Burns basically is where it creates a, a, a movement. So when you select Ken Burns, you see you have a start option and an end option, and you can drag your start wherever you want it to go, and the arrow indicates where it will start and where it will end. So if you go for this one here, then this actually adds a touch of animation to an otherwise still picture. There you go, and you see it kind of zooms across there in picture and picture. So that is uh, how to do some basic overlays um, onto your existing video with your um, photos or videos that you want to put into it here. So um, basic tutorial, but some uh, really, uh, really effective tips I think to uh, add some extra extra elements to your videos. So anyway, if you like this, do drop a thumbs up, any comments, pop them in the description box below. And uh, yeah, as usual, keep it, stay geeky. Mr. Fit Geek signing out. Thanks very much. Take care.